boast in sheer pleasure at the sweet treat. Then he reached out for a second, but he placed it into his coat pocket. Moving slowly and trying not to be noticed, he placed another into the same pocket. The garden was buzzing with whispers. Finally, one of the women walked over to the new minister and she said, Well, do something. Still feeling a little awkward in his new position, the young minister handed his coffee cup to the woman, walked over to the table and stood next to the homeless man. He reached under the table where the empty pastry boxes had been stored and he picked up one of the silver trays and he tipped its contents into a box. And he did the same with a second. He closed the lids of the boxes and held them out to the homeless man. We are here every Sunday, the young minister said to him. The man smiled at the minister, cradled the boxes in his arm and shuffled quietly out of the garden and down the street. The minister returned to his coffee cup, smiled at the woman holding it and said, That's what you meant when you said do something, wasn't it? It's easy to pass judgment. It's a lot harder to do something to help. Let us be reaching out with help in these difficult days that we find ourselves in. Let us be practicing the grace that Christ has shown us. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you today for every blessing you have given us. But most of all, O oh Lord, we thank you for your word and for how it challenges us and how it encourages us. We pray that we will find comfort in it in these days of trial and difficulty. And we thank you for this portion that we've been looking at this morning. Lord, we know that we are all sinners and that really all we deserve is judgment. But we thank you that you have shown us grace, that you have sent your son into this world, that he could live the perfect life that we cannot live. But then he offered up that life on the cross, dying in our place to bear our sin. Lord, help us to look to Jesus, to accept the offer of salvation he gives us and to go forward to serve him and trust him, particularly in these dark and desolate days that we live in. And now may the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit Rest and abide upon all of God's people now and forevermore. Amen.